Welcome to this week's episode of the podcast. We are doing a book chat today. We haven't had one since season two started. And today I am joined by my niece, Emma, and we are going to be talking all things books. And I'm really excited to get into this one. So let's do it. You're listening to the Wellness Simplified Podcast. Simple wellness tips to help you improve your life without turning it upside down. With your host, award-winning fitness instructor, nutrition coach, and wellness expert, Susie Fevens. As we're recording this, it is Take Your Kid to Work Day. I don't have any kids, but I do have a niece, and she came to spend the day with me today. We've had a very, very today, <laughs> done all sorts of things from recording workouts and blog posts and secret Santa business, and now we're doing podcasts. We sold a jacket to a woman that I had for sale, all sorts of things. So why not cap it all off with a book chat? So Emma is someone who is a good reader. I like to buy her books that I like. And I told her, why don't you choose a few of your favorite books from the last year or so, and we'll talk to them, a li- talk about them a little bit. So welcome to the show, Emma. Hi, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll also be thrilled to note that my producer, Clara, has has joined us. So a couple of the books, I got her to write some of these down, and a couple of them are ones that I suggested for her so I feel quite pleased with myself that I was able to choose proper ones but what is the first book or series that you really like that you want to talk about the first book series I chose is the Red Queen series and the Red Queen was written by Victoria Aviard yes Aviard so what was it about that series that you really liked I don't know I liked the different houses like the different people that had different powers that was cool to me uh, how many books are in that series? Four? Red Queen, Glass Sword, uh, King's Cage, War Storm, and Broken Throne. But Broken Throne is like the two novella, novellas. novellas. Wow, I'm having a hard no, time with like, words. There's a lot of them in there. Yeah, you're right. There is. Did you read it? It was good. I did. There was another one. Oh, I think, okay, so they had published. Steel, Steel Scars and Queen Song. Yeah, they published those two separately, and then they put the other one, and they put some other ones, and I didn't listen to all of those, because I got the audiobook, and it was read by some guy, and it oh. it was just weird. My friend got the book when it first came out, and so she let me borrow it. It was good. And I remember, oh, what was the other series? Was it Heartless that I thought they, it was very similar? Everless. Everless. Because they were, fair, I read... Everless and the Red Queen back to back. And then I started, yeah, I was starting to get the two storylines mixed up. So if you're into YA and like fantasy type stuff, I would not read those two back to back. <laughs> They're pretty confused. Like, yeah, I read Everless and Evermore before the Red Queen series. And uh, they're both really good. They're just very similar. Yeah. And I remember after you read those two, you were like, Susie, I have a problem, and I think you can help me out with it. Yeah. And that's when I suggested you should check out the Red Queen. So I'm glad you liked that one. I also really enjoyed the Red Queen series. I think it was one of my favorite YA series of the year. So what is your second favorite that you're going to talk about today? Okay, so my second favorite is called The Lunar Chronicles, and it's very similar to the Red Queen series. <laughs> I suppose it is. I never really thought about it. We started to talk about this before we started recording, and I said, stop, stop, let's not, we'll talk about it when we start recording. Uh, yeah, because there's a girl, and then there's a guy, and then they're fighting things, and... evil women. There's always evil women. Okay, there's the evil, <laughs> the evil women, and then there's, like, the friends, like, there's groups of, both have groups of friends that are, like, the main groups that, like, fight against the evil I feel like we could say this about almost every series, yeah, though. <laughs> like, if I think about the Hunger Games, if I think about even Divergent series, which I know you haven't read yet. But I'm going to this year. Yeah, when you're ready, let me know, because I have them right, right there on the shelf. Yeah. <laughs> I, too, adored the Lunar Chronicles. Of course, I read them first, and then I gave some to Emma for Christmas, because I'm the annoying person who gives people books for gifts. But they were really, really good. And I listened to most of them, maybe all of them, the first time on audiobook. And Rebecca Solaire is the narrator of that series, and she does an amazing 
job. So if you ever have the desire to reread them, I would listen to them because you can get them from the library and they're so good. So good. And she also, um, that series is by Marissa Meyer. Rebecca Soler does the narration for almost all, if not all, of Marissa Meyer's books. And actually just last night I bought, uh, with my Audible credit, the Supernova, which is the third book in the Renegade series by Marissa Meyer. Oh, I yeah, so there's Renegades, and then there's Arch, en- Arch Enemies, and then the new one is Supernova, which is the third part, and I was saving up my Audible credit because I knew that Rebecca Soler was narrating it, and I would literally listen to her read a phone book. <laughs> I just love her so much. It's a little <laughs> bit ridiculous. Who do you think your favorite character in the Lunar Chronicle series was? Um, Cress, maybe. Yeah, she was good. One thing that you need to know about that series is they are all, like, retold fairy tales. That's my favorite part. That's why I like them so much. Yeah. So the first one, Cinder, is obviously a retelling of Cinderella. The second one, Scarlet, is a retelling of Little Red Riding Hood. And then Cress is a retelling of Rapunzel. And then Winter is a a retelling of Snow White. So it's, it's really interesting, and it's done in a way that is better than you might think because when you hear about a retelling of a cyborg mechanic in like futuristic Beijing that doesn't and space people yeah it doesn't really sound all that good I remember the day I started and I was like I don't know if I'm gonna like this but after literally one chapter I was sucked in (laughs) yeah but there's also two graphic novels that go along with that series no I didn't Yeah, there's two graphic novels, and the first one, for sure, you can get the paper copy from the library. The second one, I can't remember if I got the actual copy, if I had to use or read the digital copy, but I borrowed both of them from the library, so you definitely need to check out those. Um, They follow Ico more so than anything, but it's like a comic. I think I did see something about that, because, yeah, I remember seeing something about like saint from echoes like point of view yes the, yeah i think i saw it i don't even know online somewhere yeah it's still past like it's after the events in the lunar chronicles are over so it's still future dated stuff but i enjoyed it it was fun for a little change i read a lot of critiques that they didn't like the way that like carson was portrayed and it was like people calm down <laughs> it's essentially a comic book yeah. But anyhow, so what is your third option? Okay, so my third option is a book you haven't read, and it's called Bone Gap by Laura Ruby. I love that as we were talking, you looked up to see (laughs) the author because I didn't know. I have never heard of this. I don't know anything about it. So tell me about the Bone Gap. Okay, so Bone Gap is, it's kind of hard to explain. It's about a guy and his brother, and they just they meet his older brother meets a girl and then they fall in love but then one day that girl gets kidnapped and so the entire book is just the younger boy trying to find the girl because the older brother doesn't believe that he can ever find her and then while he's trying to find her the younger brother falls in love with another girl of course he does yeah because like throughout the whole book bone gap is the place like that is that's what they're where they live and so the entire town thinks that Finn, the younger boy, is in love with his older brother's girlfriend that got kidnapped, but he actually loves her in a different way. Mm. Sounds good. I'm actually reading a book right now that somebody is sort of kidnapped, and now I'm going to have to see who the author is, and I'm pretty sure I can't actually pronounce it, but... Um, we'll look it up here real quick. It's Mirage, and it is by, I know I'm going to butcher this if I pronounce it, so I'm just going to spell it. It's S-O-M-A-I-Y-A, and her last name is D-A-U-D. Um, and in this book, there are still bad women and different planets, but this girl is going through like the ceremony for when you become an adult or whatever, and the people from the head honcho place, the the royals or whatever, send some droids. And the droids, like, scan everyone's face. And they take her. 
and they like kidnap her and she doesn't know why and she gets to the castle where the royal family lives and the princess nobody ever really sees her face because she i don't know she's evil and they probably don't have like the internet (laughs) so they don't see pictures and she realizes the reason she has been taken is because she looks like an exact double of the princess and the princess is pretty well hated And there's always people threatening to kill her. So they need to have someone who can go out and pretend to be the princess when there's times of threat and she might get killed. So now this girl has to learn how to act just like the princess to be able to confuse and trick even like her fiance into pretending that or thinking she's the princess when she is not. And she doesn't even really want to do this because she doesn't like the princess, but she's not getting paid. She's just stuck there. I'm only like... 70 pages in so I don't know exactly what's going to happen but it's a you know what it's It's the same it's the same story I will give it to you when I'm done (laughs) okay that sounds really good and another book that I saw that you read that I want to read soon is A Curse So Dark and Lonely oh yes that was a good one because that is a retelling of Beauty and the Beast but it's done differently so you don't feel like you're reading the exact same story kind of like cinder like it's got the elements of the story but it's not like and here's this and here's that and you know lumiere is it's not (laughs) it's not quite like that (laughs) but it was i really you know i really like that i sort of forgot about that book but i really liked that one too um as soon as i saw you put that book on your instagram or on your bookstagram (laughs) <laughs> I told my mom, I was like, we need to find this and I need to read it. I got that from the Valley Library. <laughs> in Kempville or Berwick? Um, I picked it up in Kempville, but you can get it shipped wherever you want to have it. <laughs> That's the <laughs> lovely thing of the library. Yes. Oh, and there was something else I was going to say and now I just forgot it. Oh, I like to also ask people about a book that they've read or started to read that they really didn't like. And I'm just putting you on the spot right now. So you don't even have to have finished the book. She's laughing. Let's hear it. I don't know. Um, what did I start that I really didn't like? Oh, I. it was a series, and I just got really bored with it. It was the series that like kind of adds on to the Percy Jackson one. Oh, yeah. I have it was one. like the son of Neptune or something like that. Or so not Neptune, Poseidon. I think it is Neptune because there's two. Oh yeah, because it's like yeah, Greek and yeah, the Greek or the Roman. Yeah, uh, I went. I made it like through halfway through Mark of Athena. I hate. I did, it was so boring. Oh, I like that series, but you know what? Every you can't, you can't. Not every book is made for every person, so that's okay. You're currently reading a series that I already told you that I gave up on because I was like, I don't know what's even going on here. So what are you reading that I gave up on? It's the Match Trilogy, and I don't know. I like it. I had the second book uh, because I'm borrowing it from the school library, but I just had to put it in the Dropbox because it was supposed to be due today even though i'm not done it so i'm gonna have to sign it out again on another day that's always annoying Mm. there's a book i'm waiting for from the library right now and the person who had it it was due on october 14th and they still haven't returned it on that sort of like my nerves couldn't handle that sometimes i'm two or three days late returning a book because I need to finish it and I know I'm just going to have to pay a quarter a day and still it's not even the quarter I'm just like I know somebody's waiting for this book (laughs) and it really kind of bothers me but apparently it doesn't bother everybody so I think we're going to call it done for today thank you so much for coming on and chatting with me about your favorite book thank you for having me you're welcome she was nervous but she just said it wasn't as bad as I thought it was and it never is So that is it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed listening to myself and Emma talk a little bit about some of the books that we've read in the last year or so that we really enjoyed. If you do like hearing about books, make sure that you follow me on that Bookstagram account. It's just Susie Reads A Lot because Susie does read a lot. That is it for this week's episode. I will chat with you next week.